So it's important that we start at the same pressure each time. It's also important that that gauge is not bleeding down. So we're just a hair below 40. My setting is at 50 uh, pulses, 10 milliseconds. Tell me when you're ready. All right, remember that number, 31. Key off, go into the next injector. Okay. That's what I wanted to see, baby, right there. Except, I mean, I'm excited, but not. It was a little premature excitement because I got about two PSI difference on that injector than I have on those three, but it's less flow, not more flow. <laughs> this test is one where it's showing less flow, it's showing restriction. We also don't know though about that fuel injector as far as what it does while it's running between the bounces. You could have some seepage there. That, that, that's enough for me if I were to see a lean condition, a, a, a roughness like we have, done deal. That's getting at least one fuel injector, that number two. That doesn't quite match our rich condition. That, that matches a lean condition. Some stuff as we're hooking up. My Pico kit, my pressure transducer, and I have a va uh, adapter right here. It is designed for the older Ford systems. And then my pressure transducer is gonna get hooked right to that. And then I'll hook this right up to my lap scope. So I just hooked up uh, channel two. It should be red, but I didn't feel like getting another lead out. And then this will go to a known good ground and then we'll back probe our injector. Sweet. All right, let's see what we can see here. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna trigger off of channel B. Uh, we can use auto. We're gonna go B and pull this up here. And now I can see all six cylinders between these two firing events. This is the number one injector that's firing. Okay. What's up, brother? Hey, I'm just going back through the footage on this Ford truck. I can see a clear indication on the Pico scope that the number two is flowing more than the other cylinders on that on that bank so i just i feel a lot more confident now even though we showed in the balance test um less flow less. yeah but I mean, that's not are, under you said not with vacuum and correct fire, yeah. yeah yeah absolutely and vacuum has an effect on fuel injectors i mean that's the whole reason they put you know vacuum assist regulators on there in the first place is vacuum on the tip of those injectors affects flow rate so we're we're looking at in a more dynamic way with the engine running here and i'm seeing it i'm absolutely seeing more flow from that number two injector with it with it running